Hey everyone, the name is Silzar64, and welcome back to Let's Play Barman64. We are now going to be heading on to Stage 3, also known as To Have or Have Not. Now, uh, this stage is fairly... Apparently really freaking easy. <laughs> Yay, I finally won. What? What? Oh, you jerk. Okay, so that narwhal thing I really really hate um and not for the sake of the fact that it stole my gem but for the fact that I could not find it I searched on uh, Wikipedia for about two hours or so just for its name uh, <laughs> well that was a fail But yeah, and I could not find it no matter how hard I looked. And believe me, I tried really freaking hard and I had this game paused and back. So I ended up falling at. Oh no, do not do that. Uh, for the record, these platforms are very brutal when it comes to stepping on them at the wrong time. When you don't step on them. Leave me alone! <laughs> My god, this is not good. Okay, um, as soon as we get back, I will introduce you all to uh, the new enemy. Oh, no. Okay. I would probably show it off if it weren't for uh, the fact that I only have zero lives. But if you step at the wrong time, you like can't get out of that little hole, and that will come down and crush you. Alright, now here is a new enemy, which is a blue trooper. Blue troopers are quite uh, similar to the others. Wanders around aimlessly, uh, can stun, and only takes one hit to go down. However, it can spin around after seeing you with its blades and uh, most likely kill you. So, yeah, you'll have to be on the lookout for that. Die, totem. Whoa! Okay, uh, don't kill yourself, please. Da -da -da -da. Also, I already know about this, but, oh. No, die. We can talk to Sirius and find out a little bit more about the, uh, story behind the game. Let me tell you something about the one responsible for the attack on Planet Bomber. His name is Altair. Is that his uh, voice? Shoot, I don't remember. He drains a planet's energy to power the Omnicube. The Omnicube holds the power to rule the universe. Okay. From the way he takes his time extracting a planet's energy, it seems he hasn't figured out how to use the Omnicube. And you would know this how. Such an operation doesn't require that much time. However, his incompetence is helping you, and you should be thankful! My, my god, he's like trying to help, yet he's still being pretty freaking mean about it. Die, Red Trooper. When I hear Red and Trooper, I think of Steve. You know, I'm sorry, I practically gave that to myself to make that reference. Wait, where, where are you taking it now? No, stupid narwhal thing. Nope, no, no. Oh, thank you, Sirius. That thing decided... 
not decided, deserved to die in such a way anyway because of its lack of name and torture for, will you, okay, thank you. And torture for those who are trying to get a little bit more research on it. I assume this is what I have to do. I haven't actually uh, fully practiced this stage, to be honest. Down goes the red trooper, down I go from the stairs. I am not risking it. Alright, so uh, if you don't know what I re was referring to, is uh, using bombs to jump over there. Which I most likely will blow up while jumping. Not very fun if you ask me. <laughs> Alright. Red Trooper, you die now. Whoa. Okay then. Down goes the... Not red, blue trooper. Okay, that was close. Come on. Okay, good. Did I just kill him on impact? Okay. Sure. Cool. Um, uh, this is very high. Am I going to die? I really hope not. Leap of faith! Okay, thank god. That would have been a huge smack in the face if I had to die there. Where on the- oh, hi. Fine, I'll go around. Wait, what? I can't. Okay, I see what I gotta do now. Down goes the blue trooper. You know, since the uh, red troopers like metal and it only has those small little knives for blade hands, and then this guy actually attacks and has razor blades. I think this guy would be into heavy metal more than anything, because he seems more hardcore than the others. Alright, stage cleared. And... Yeah, we did horrible on that. Alright, on to stage four, which this might be uh, quite unfortunate with the results. Alright, stage four. Thank you for the time bomb series. Winged Guardian. So this is Draco. Simple enough. He is a uh, dragon and I'm trying to remember if he's considered a pet to Altair. Um, okay, you can come here now. Oh, I, I got him? Okay, cool. I... I didn't realize he was even do- Yeah, I'm suddenly speaking with an accent. Oh my god, pick up a bomb, thank you. Basically, as you can tell, this guy's attack pattern is to... 
use tactics throughout the air with breathing fire and flying into you, I believe. Oh cool, I actually did something there. I doubted I was even able to. <laughs> Okay, come here, Draco. Not to be confused with Draco Malfoy. No? Nothing? Fine. Oh my god, that works? Okay, cool. Alright, you, you can come here anytime now. Alright. I'm just going to... Yes! And that should be the end of him. Okay. Once again, fairly easy boss for the first world. That's kind of brutal. Okay, then. Only two. Eh, fair enough. And that is one anchor down. Okay, cool. So next time we will be taking on Blue Resort. Thank you for watching. I hope you decide to watch more by subscribing. And I will see y'all later. Goodbye.